Hello guys, hope all of you are doing great. Uh, today I'm gonna show you some advanced editing in ArcGIS of shapefiles. Uh, so let's check out some um, advanced editing uh, of uh, shapefiles in Arc uh, Map. Uh, this is uh, uh, ArcGIS interface and we can see here point shape file, polygon shape file and line shape file as well. Uh, this, uh, uh, this line uh, are actually a po polyline shape file and uh, the polygon that you are seeing this is polygon shape file. Mm, so remove uh, the extra shape file from here. So let's say we will uh, edit now uh, folder boundary that is uh, this one this shape file so right click on the um, shape file and uh, click on start editing let's say in this shape file we want to add a, a polygon such a way that uh, it will follow this path as i moving uh, as i'm moving the cursor like this and the and it will follow uh, along the um, along this uh, polyline or this this is actually curl in the folder um, this curl and then the follow this path and ultimately create another polygon and uh, it will add into this folder boundary btm uh, polygon shape so let's check how to do it uh, click here uh, click here on folder boundary btm in the right side and click on polygon see post snap snapping is activated all the snapping is activated here point snapping this is the end snapping so I okay I activated all the snapping click on trace so if you click on trace it will automatically uh, follow the line as you move the cursor along the polar boundary It is moving moving this like way okay then there is a break then click here again and it will follow like this you don't have to click as you click on clicked on trace so it uh, will automatically trace uh, the line as you move the cursor So and now the polygon has been just created and it has been added in the polar boundary BTM uh, polygon shape file. So if you want to check this polygon, press on control button on the keyboard and double click on the folder boundary BTM uh, attribute table table will, will appear. See this uh, FID number 16 and the new polygon has been created so this is my new polygon has been created on under this polygon okay now click on editor and save edits and then stop it so your polygon has been created here this one is your new polygon if you want to extract this polygon individual if you want uh, a, a, an individual polygon or individual shape file of this polygon that is uh, newly created uh, right now and so you have to just uh, data export data it is already selected so see export selected features so I have already selected FID number 16 that has uh, that is uh, my new polygon uh, so if I want to export it let's say I want a new shape file. The layer source data coding system will be layer source data. That means 
the border boundary BTM uh, it is BTM code system so the uh, exported uh, shape file will be BTM coordinate system so this is my new shape file see this is my new shape file if you want individual shape file of the uh, new of the newly created uh, polygon okay suppose i want to know the area under this polygon then you have to click uh, right click on the shape file and open attribute table see here is a column uh, name area or if this column is not here then you have to open you have to create a new column uh, so suppose let's say there is no uh, column named area or perimeter or something uh, name whatever I want to create a new column uh, in this attribute table uh, then click on uh, add field area is uh, double my precision is let's say six scale is two scale is uh, the now right click on the area square kilometer and then calculate geometry yes so what you can do actually you can find the area you can find the perimeter or x coordinate of the centroid of the that polygon or y coordinate of the centroid of that polygon so we want the areas no problem we can we want the area in square kilometer okay then right click on okay the area will be calculated so total area under this polygon is 118.72 square kilometer it has been calculated up to six decimal actually precision is up to six decimal point if you want to name this polygon you can also do this uh, suppose you have to just right click on the shape file and start editing suppose this is folder name of this area is folder find the coordinate of these points uh, press on control button and double click on the all structure btm it is a point shape file uh, so many attributes uh, in the attribute table and we can see the btm s and btm y uh, we can also generate like this uh, suppose uh, uh, this is my point shape file i want to uh, calculate the btm x suppose like this calculate geometry sorry x coordinate of the point y coordinate of the point i want x coordinate it uh, there is all, uh, already coordinates uh, in these columns and i'm just uh, recalculating of the x coordinate uh, of each uh, point uh, of the shape file hopefully the same coordinates uh, will be appeared in the btm x column uh, let's uh, open another column like like x y something uh, so it's double Precision is uh, two. Scale is uh, nine. Field calculator. We will see the function of field calculator right now. Okay. Suppose in the x y column, I want to just add btm x and btm y, and want to get the result in the x y column. Uh, to do that btm x double click on btm x and then plus and then btm y so if you click ok it will calculate all the records and give you the results corresponding results
the summation of btmx and btmy this is the this is the summation of actually btmx plus btmy okay you can also uh, calculate uh, by writing programming code python uh, here let's say find calculator see you can use visual basic script or python script uh, here and run a program as per your requirement now let's check some uh, editing in the uh, polyline shape file my polyline shape file is cut network serm btm suppose i want to split this cow into two this is actually one uh, single line single line right click on the shape file and click on edit feature then start editing then select this file only one line will be selected here see this is only one line i want to split this line into two parts suppose here i want to split this cow then what will we do we have already selected then split tools click here on split tools click here and suppose i want to split here move the cursor on your desired position and click here see right now it has been just divided into two parts one polyline is here and then the one is here suppose uh, you have this polyline now click on edit editor and uh, you want to buffer buffer means uh, for uh, from this polyline you want to uh, create another polyline suppose say 100 meter at 100 meter distance then you can use the buffer distance suppose 100 meter okay see in all direction in the left direction and the right direction they are a buffer another polyline has been just created this is my another polyline has been just created if you want to create new polyline at just a certain distance say you want to um, create another um, polyline just parallel to this line that is selected right now then click on copy parallel distance suppose 100 meter side left see the arrow is uh, in this direction then my left side will be this side so in this side a new polyline should be created okay okay see at 100 meter distance another new polyline has been just created 